Hi, Cancer Moon. Welcome to your reading. Let's go ahead and start off with some deep breaths. Let me get my affirmation deck one second. Sorry, I forgot. Excuse me, excuse me. This is my second time doing this. I don't know why I keep doing this. So sorry. Let's just go ahead and keep up with those deep breaths. I keep dropping things. Um, that is of significance for you guys. You're dropping things. I'm getting like something has dropped. Something has come. Um, something has come to your attention. Something has come to your attention. Excuse me. Okay, I'm taking this one as well. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I'm just following the energy here, Cancer Moon. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. And then bottom of the deck, I have, I accept that everything happens in divine order. I was picking up um, that nature, being out in nature, okay? Soaking in the moon, soaking in the sun. Like I was getting this picture of somebody looking at the moon and just admiring the moon and just taking taking in the present moment and being in the present moment. I was also getting the message of be careful when you are drinking, um, sip, watch your intake. And then I heard carefully, carefully, carefully. Um, that is of significance here. And then I'm just going to follow the energy. Cancer Moon. What do we have for our Cancer Moons? We have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. You are very much celebrated here. You are very much admired. Okay. You may be uh, one... Excuse me, I'm getting like, you may be one working for the community. You're doing work that has to do a lot with being a part of the community, a big community. And you are very much admired, Cancer Moon. With whatever work that you are, you are doing, like you're very much admired here. Okay. Ooh, I have the five of coins. Mmm. Okay. Wow. You're, you're doing work to help mental illness. Like you, you went through a lot in your past. You went through a lot in your past. This is what I'm getting here with this five of coins. You see that shattered mirror? I'm getting like, um, you were that child that went through a lot. I'm getting like abandonment issues. You went, you went through a lot of uh, childhood trauma. And this had led you to be a part of this community, like really dro drove you to be a part of this community. Okay, thank you, Spirit. And this is what you love. Like you're, you're very nurturing. You are, in fact, very nurturing and giving to this work that you do. Okay. Mm okay. This this has this had taken some time, it, like coming to fruition. Like it, it it took you quite some time to put all of this together, and this is something that you are putting all of your attention, a, a lot of your energy and your time in. Okay, seven, oh, excuse me, eight of coins. Like this had taken some some time, diligently every day, like in your routine, in your practice, whatever that may look like for you, in your ritual, you know, you've been um, building this work day by day, um, building it to become that it is what it is today, okay? Thank you. You are a mother of two. This is what I'm getting with the two of cups. Three of cups, sorry. I'm just like... <laughs> um, three, three of cups. You are a mother to two. Two daughters. Okay. 
um, and they very much admire you also like they look to you and they look up to you and they are admired by what you do there there's a lot of like nurturing here like nurturing energy there there is a lot of wanting to nurture wanting to take care of and even when i look at this man looking at this dog it's like um give, giving so much of this nurturing energy i i will take care of you that's that's what i'm getting like i will take care of you i will continue on um giving this service and providing for people who is in need, okay? Heavy emphasis on uh, your childhood trauma that had led you to be so nurturing, but you are, in fact, very nurturing in nature, okay? When I think of cancer, I think of like motherly, you have that natural motherly nature, natural motherly um vibe essence right that you give off to the rest of the people and i'm getting like for the rest of the people like in your community in your community that you give to this work that you're in and what you give to your community and they feel that heavily they feel that from you heavily thank you spirit when you were a kid you were, you were very much a dreamer, is what I'm getting here with this page of swords. When you were a kid, um, you were very imaginative. You had a very wild, big imagination. And you might have been teased a lot. But you knew yourself to be um, one to have a big imagination. And that was something that you, you held on to for quite some time. You, you held on to for like ever. And you knew that whatever you had in your mind, you know, that was going to come to life one day. Mm, that's beautiful. That was, that was, that was going to come to mind one day. I, I had written, the truth will come out. Wait, wait, the truth will come out. Wait. As I look at this card, I accept that everything happens in divine order. This was like so like intricately. I'm getting you're a dreamer. You're a dreamer. You're a dreamer. This was intricately uh, divinely guided. Okay. Um, and then I had written the truth will come out. The truth will come out. Wait, 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 wait. And so have you been, you have also been in patience and a lot of that patience is coming out. Okay. In that patience, you also you also um, gained a lot from that. And through patience, you've gained a lot. Okay, I'm talking to somebody here. Um, putting my attention on this grief card, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. This could be like you losing like your old self, like shattering your old self, shattering what it had taken you some time to heal from like shattering your old self the person that kid who was very much traumatized hidden i'm hearing broken promises there's a lot of broken promises something about your dad something about your dad okay um I i'm getting like your mother your mother was that person in your life whom um very much took care of you okay and that i'm getting like that is probably why you have such a motherly um nature like this energy the light outside is like catching my attention like more light is like coming into the house um this what this is what drove you to also be very nurturing to your your own kids your own children um, when you are giving, giving your nurturing energy to your children, like this reminds you of your mom and how your mom also took care of you when you were a kid. A lot of this abandonment energy that's coming through. And that is why, um, I'm getting a lot of this grief 
I'm putting my attention on that. And a lot of that grief came from this, um, a time in your life, in your childhood, where you felt a lot of that abandonment, okay? And I'm getting like, since, like that mother figure is there, but there is, there is no dad figure, right? So I'm getting like, your mother was there, but your dad was not there. So I'm getting that you might have been that kid that felt a lot of that abandonment from your own father, okay? And you, you, you went through a lot of that grieving, and you had healed a lot from that grieving. And what I'm getting here is that while your dad was not like very much present in your life, that like drove you to be more alone, like secluded from the rest of the world. And then like kind of placed you in this energy of like, I, I just want to be alone. I, I want to be left alone. I want, you see how like gloomy this card looks like, right? It's, it's, it's like, there's a little bit of like, there's a lot of gloom. There's a lot of um, sadness, right? You see the blue around this card as well. And then as you grew older, as you got older, like you kind of held on to that sadness, that gloom, right? Again, back to grieving, the grief. But you also had grown a lot from this part like part of you part of your childhood you've you've gotten to really know through adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and what i'm getting is like you have grown from this situation like you've learned so much from this part of you in your in your childhood okay um wow I also want to add, Cancer Moon, that I, I, I rarely ever, like, do any moon signs, okay? Like, readings for moon signs, which is incredible to me because when I get a chance to actually do moon signs, I just did Gemini Moon and now I'm on to yours. It's incredible to me to be picking up so much of this small details, like, very intricate information, right? And... I'm also doing this, I feel the need to say, like, I'm, I'm doing this in the middle of a new moon in Gemini, where a new, uh, there's a new moon in Gemini, okay, and to be picking this up is very specific, right, so this could be very specific to somebody, it's a very specific message to somebody, but very rarely do I do moon signs, so when I have a chance to do it, I know that this is, um, this is very important. Like it's very special. I feel I feel like I feel that energy like very special. But um in astrology, the moon, the moon sign means that this is what what happened to you in your home, like right when you, when you were, were when you were still a kid, excuse me. Our our moon sign is our who who we are essentially right our emotions um the person that we are at home that we don't really show everybody right that is essentially who we are so our moon sign which is your in cancer that is how it was how it was in your household growing up okay that's what i'm getting here And, and a lot of what you had experienced in your childhood, you had really learned from growth. It's taking me back to this card, growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And through adversity, through the challenges and, your, and the experiences that you had in your childhood, this really drove you to be doing the work that you do for the community, for the community, okay? And you've really gained a lot of knowledge from this. You've really gained a lot of 10 of coins. I'm getting like knowledge. You, you, you've gained a lot of insights, right? And through your experience in your childhood that had really taught you a whole lot about what life is like. That's beautiful. What, what, what it has come to be for you and how it all came about 
how it was all orchestrated leading you up to really living the this life living the your dream ace of wands as the wind picks up outside your your patience um you having to really follow this flow of being more patient with yourself uh led you to really be living this dream it's it's very um I'm getting like, it's very unrealistic, right? Like to some, they may think like, wow, how, how did you go about that? Like you probably had somebody tell you like, how did you go about that? Like you, the the people you work for in the community, like, you know, people have come up to you and, and said things like, how did you even get to this point, you know, and, and, and helping people and how are you so nurturing? How are you so loving? Like what made you become this person today? And I believe what I'm getting here is like that all came from the experience you had in your childhood and that is all rooted in what you experienced. Okay. It is, it is through mindfulness. You are very much in tune with your emotions and have been very in tune with your emotions and that... I'm getting like could be your like your supernatural powers that you know got you to this point in your life um that also the the, the empathy that you carry the, the empathy that you carry it all came from that you, your empathy grew over time because you're so in tune with your emotions, you, you, you have a better understanding of where you are with your emotions, where you have been with your emotions, right? Um, I'm getting like secure, like you're very secure and certain about where you are with your emotions. And so, and understanding your own emotions, you you have also have a, a, a better understanding of other people's emotions as well. Like you see yourself as everybody else. And so your empathy had grown over time two of cups i see you you see me as me and i see you as you that type of energy right um you you give off that nurturing energy and it it comes from and is rooted from the empathy that you carry yeah it's not um I'm getting it's not to be hidden. It's not to be hidden. I'm hearing you're strong, you're strong, you're strong. This has been your purpose. Look, purpose. I know what I am here to do. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. It's so funny. I was going to say you're str I said you're strong, right? You're strong, you're strong, you're strong. But before that, I thought like, wow, like this is, you're so determined. I thought of that before I even seen the courage card. Like, um, you, you, in fact, made your dream come true. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, so it is very, it is very likely that you, you get people to come up to you and say, like, how did you even um, get to this point? Like, how did you even do this? You know, like, it's very unrealistic to people. Like, when, when people hear stories like this it's like wow like that's that's very unrealistic right but to you because you had such a very big imagination and perhaps it's written right perhaps like it was all rooted in a very sacred place that you had experienced in your childhood that really drove you to have this big imagination and really like pushed you to have so much of this courage oh sorry adversity i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence wow that's beautiful that's beautiful that's beautiful that's beautiful like you have gone through a lot of challenges because of your past but that is in fact what drove you to have such a big imagination as a kid like, like you I'm getting like you've always you always knew that you were able, you were capable and, and and you're able to to create something from this like I do believe that when we go through a lot of pain I believe this for myself because I too have uh 
I too had a very traumatizing childhood and I believe that the pain that we have endured over the years you know as we grow older I do believe the pain makes us stronger and it pushes us to be stronger and it pushes us to become more than just the pain right I believe that for myself and I suppose that this also has had pushed me to read tarot and the pain becomes your supernatural powers the pain becomes your your way of um pushing you pushing you and pushing you and pushing you and is it is also to transmute that pain into something bigger than just staying in the pain right like you 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 went through a time where you felt like you were lonely i'm getting a lot of blues there was a lot of blues that, um you went through a time in your life where you felt like you, you didn't have anybody supporting you or like um you know you know in times when you were so certain like i i i have to um i have to make this come true I, I have to make this dream come true or I have to make this vision come true. Like I have to have to make this my vision to come to fruition, right? So in times when you were um, maybe in like seasons and like phases where you were like just you had that vision in your mind, that's the time where you're, when, when you actually felt really lonely and you had nobody around you to like support it. You know, and, and, and even if it's kind of like how this lady is looking down at that uh, pentacle like I know I'm gonna have it and I, I know that if I put it in my mind like if I just envision it and I keep it on my mind I know I'm going to have it right that kind of kind of feeling I'm getting and the essence of it all if I were to just keep it in mind I know it's going to come true regardless of you know what others may think like I, I'm looking at the flowers around her and you, you see the blue again like even if others are not in agreement with me with this I know that and having to, to to keep my mind on it and to set my mind on it I know it's going to come true and it has <laughs> I feel a lot of that loneliness, but you've had you had to persevere. You had to persevere even in times of fear and self, like even in times when you felt a lot of that fear in yourself. Because what I'm getting here is like with this six of swords, I'm getting like there were times where you you fall you you fell into that mindset again of like I can't, I won't, I'm not capable, right? Like you went through phases, you went through seasons where you felt like you were so um, doubtful, like you couldn't do it. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. That's amazing. And and then you felt a lot of that loneliness, right? Back to the blue again. <laughs> like you, you couldn't see yourself to be like everybody else. And perhaps you weren't supposed to be like everybody else or you're you're not supposed to think like everybody else. But you felt a lot of that loneliness in times when you felt like... Um, I'm not like everybody else and you would question to yourself and then you fell back into that mindset of like this is I feel like that again like that kid who was abandoned at, you know that kid when uh that part of that part of me in my childhood where I felt lonely right but you had to overcome you had to conquer your fears is what I'm getting here you, you had to fight off the fears and, and you had to save yourself because nobody else was going to save you and and even in in times when you felt a lot of that fear like you had to overcome it you had to conquer it and you did through courage i and i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and you did a lot of that is what i'm getting here and you were so patient with yourself and even in times when you felt lonely man like you you still um believed you believed, you believed, you believed that this was all going to come true. You believed, you believed, you believed. Determination, perseverance, self-perseverance, self-motivation. I keep getting all of that. I know what, I, what I'm here to do. Purpose. I know what I'm here to... 
I know I can do anything that I set my mind to. I, I'm getting that too. Mindfulness, mindfulness, mindful, mindfulness. You see, I'm getting like, when we honor our vulnerability, when we are being true with our with ourself, like when we stay true to ourself, regardless of what anybody says about what we should do with our vulnerability, you know, because it's, it's, it's become a society where we are just suppressing and suppressing and suppressing and suppressing. But to you, Cancer Moon, I'm talking to somebody here, to you, you very much honor your vulnerability because vulnerability to you is power. That is, in fact, your own inner, inner strength, right? Your vulnerability is your power. And that's beautiful to hear and that's beautiful to pick up because in a world that we live in, we, they see vulnerability as weakness, right? But to you, you have become so mindful about this that you had used it as your power to, to, to seize the loneliness, to, to, to fight off the fears, right? You use your vulnerability, you use your voice as your power. So you found yourself to be in a position now where you are now an advocate to mental illness. You are an advocate to, um, I'm getting you to the youth. Remember what I said? Some, remember what I said? Um, you, you have children and your children look up to you. Uh, they too. You, you have now become a hero to your own children and they're seeing your capabilities and your strength and they want to become like you when they grow up. Um, they, they, they see the courage that you hold on to. They, they see your courage. I find the inner strength to, to face fear with confidence. They see your courage and they want to become like you. And that is the point, is that anybody can conquer their fears. Anybody can... Um, grow out of their pain anybody can grow out of their childhood trauma this is a beautiful reading and thank you so much for this energy cancer moon if you would like a personal reading you can um, email me i have all my information down in the description box below once again thank you for hanging out with me my name is kimber i should have said that I, I usually don't introduce myself. I just jump into the readings. <laughs> but um, thank you for this energy. And I will see you guys in the next. See you soon. Bye.